Good morning, everybody. My name is Neil Pello, coming to you here from First Presbyterian Church in Covington, Virginia. Starting out this morning with a scripture reading from Revelation chapter 13, verse 1 through 10. And I saw a beast rising out of the sea, having ten horns and seven heads, and on its horns were ten diadems, and on its heads were blasphemous names. And the beast that I saw was like a leopard, its feet were like a bear's, and its mouth was like a lion's mouth. And the dragon gave it his power and his throne and great authority. One of its heads seemed to have received a death blow, but its mortal wound had been healed. In amazement, the whole earth followed the beast. They worshipped the dragon, for he had given his authority to the beast. And they worshipped the beast, saying, Who is like the beast, and who can fight against it? The beast was given a mouth uttering haughty and blasphemous words, and it was allowed to exercise authority for forty-two months. It opened its mouth to utter blasphemies against God, blaspheming his name as dwelling, that is, those who dwell in heaven. Also, it was allowed to make war on the saints and to conquer them. It was given authority over every tribe, and people, and language, and nation. And all the inhabitants of the earth will worship it. Everyone whose name has not been written from the foundation of the world in the book of life of the Lamb that was slaughtered. Let anyone who has an ear listen. If you are to be taken captive, into captivity you go. If you kill with the sword, with the sword you must be killed. Here is a call for the endurance and faith of the saints. That is our scripture reading this morning. If you will, please join me for a time now together in prayer. Let us now pray together. Dear Lord, we are here today with open hands and an open heart, ready to depend on you to help us through the day and all that it will bring our way. Help us to come to you for guidance strength, provision, and protection. As we face tough choices and hard situations, help us to remember our belovedness. Help us remember that we are your child and your representative to the world around us. Help us live today in a way that brings honor to your holy name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you all for joining me here this morning. Hope to see you here tomorrow at 8 a.m. I hope you all have a great Wednesday today.